If I can just get my tongue going properly, I'd be able to say it better. Junior Senior! G'day YouTubers, it's Senior here from Junior Senior Gaming and today we are having a look at the Freightliner Century. Now, uh, before we start, I'm just going to say that this one here looks just like the actual Freightliner Coronado. I actually thought it was the same truck, so I had to go and have a look at a couple of pictures and that, and no, apparently it's not, but the model looks pretty much the same. So, now this is from some Russian guy, I couldn't pronounce his name, so sorry if you see this video, probably you won't see it, but um, look, I really do have trouble pronouncing Russian names, so I don't even bother. Um, but this one here, you look at the model, it does actually look quite nice. Whether they actually use the Coronado model, the original, as, um, you know, the backbone or not, I don't know. But, um, you know, it's still, it looks nice. We'll give it that. We'll just, we'll just go with it and, and just as if they've actually done it properly, you know, legit. So look, let's get into the custom configuration. Now, first of all, we have a look at the cabin now. Only one cabin with this. It's pretty much what you expect now with the uh, the Freightliners. Then you get the chassis, which again is the one 6x4 chassis. Then the engines. Here we come to Mercedes-Benz. You get a 540, the Cummins 600, the Caterpillar C15 500, and the Detroit Diesel Series 600 horsepower. I'm going to go with the, Cat the C15. I like the Caterpillar engines. Um, must be because they're made just down the road here. So, uh, yeah, I like it. Now, we here for the gearbox. We have the uh, Eaton Fuller gearbox, and it doesn't say what's, what speed it is, whether it's 13, 18, whatever. But let's just go for this one here, the Eaton Fuller with Retarder. Now, in for the interior, there's only one, and that's the exclusive. Now... Straight away, when I first saw this, I saw insulation tape wrapped around the steering wheel. Now, <laughs> or grip tape, I don't know what sort of tape it is, but the sticky tape wrapped around the steering wheel. And the steering wheel itself looks dirty as anything. Now, I was thinking, this is meant to be a brand new truck that you're buying, not a second-hand truck. And look at it, it looks like... That just makes it look like crap. It seriously does. Um, so, but I don't know, maybe that's meant to be like that, I, I don't know, but it, it doesn't look good, I don't like it, I don't like it anyway. Uh, but the rest of it, if we just don't look at the steering wheel, the rest of it looks quite nice. I actually like it. Uh, I'm not sure what that is there. Um, could be a compass, I guess, but it's sitting the wrong way, but I don't know. Um, then, where else? See, have a look down here, the, I don't know what that. Oh, Eaton Fuller it's got on the gear stick. And a couple of other things here. The mobile phone, the coffee cup. Uh, hopefully these buttons move here, I hope. But uh, look, that looks quite nice. I mean, it's not too jagged, too jittery, too, you know, sort of yuck. Uh, I know I always pick on that, but it's something that I, I like to take a lot of note, notice to because if you're inside the cab driving along... You're going to turn over, you're going to turn this way, and you're going to look and go, bleh, that looks terrible. Uh, now, for the exterior, we have the stock colors that you can choose. There is that blue, which actually looks quite nice. I don't mind that one. There, uh, Sorry, that is the celestial blue, emerald green, uh, what's that? Gunmetal blue, Milano red, that's nice, uh, polar white, sunshine yellow. See, there's a lot of colors in there that aren't too bad. It's really nice. The yellow looks good. The red looks good. And the celestial blue looks good. I mean, even the green. You know, they're all... A lot of them are yeah, pretty nice. I mean, if white looks good as well. I mean, I think it's he's done a good job. Uh, what's that on the bonnet? Is that... Ah, oh, see how the color actually differentiates between... Sorry, the color is different... Uh, between there, it's sort of darker, and that's with all of them. 
I suppose you just have to pick one there. You go green, you can't really see it that much. Looks like a John Deere green. Anyway, we'll leave it on yellow. We'll have a look at the custom in the you know the service center and see what we can find there. Now for accessories, unfortunately there isn't a great deal. Um, we can take the mirror off, but that's only one mirror. It doesn't take two mirrors. So if we want to put it back on, we can just put it back on. Then we go to the actual wheels. Now there is some wheels in here called Wheel Fred M um, that you can put on. And then we can go over to the back wheels here and we'll put Wheel Fred M back on there. And that one's already done, I think. So that's cool. That looks pretty good like that. I like that. Then we come up to here, the door steps. Now, that's the stock one. That is number one, number two, and number three. Now, that is what I like most of all. I love that. Love that indeed. Looks absolutely brilliant. Now, uh, going to the actual uh, the wind mirrors, sorry. Uh, we'll put paint on. I love paint mirrors. I do. If the depends. If there's a lot of chrome on there, I like chrome to you know go along with it. But if there's a lot of paint, I like paint. Uh, don't particularly like plastic. I think it just looks cheap. Now, what do we have? Oh, that's the steps there. Then we've got the wheels. Uh, the mirrors and you can't oh you can take both of them off so if you just take that one there off and then that one there so there we go you can take them both off so let's just put I'm just gonna put them back on I need mirrors and that's the painted mirrors there now I am going to switch to the inside and one thing I was going to say is it's a shame that there's nothing for the top here we can't have any horns on the side or anything so I only got the standard horn with the truck bit of a shame but never mind uh, now let's go on the inside click on that there and here we have that is standard this is with a green sort of thing going across there uh, the Russians tend to love putting that green sort of you know that sort of thing the balls or whatever it is I don't know what the go is with that but I don't know some trucks it looks cool actually I don't mind it then you get red as well with a freak liner on there um, it's actually got, if we have a look, if we have a look over here, oh no, sorry, it has got Freightliner. Um, I thought it was spelling it wrong, but that's alright. Uh, so, and then we've got some things on the seats there, and it looks like if we switch over here, is that actually changing? Oh no, it's changing that thing there, but oh no, I thought it changed the carpet as well. So, anyway, we'll leave that there like that. I, I reckon that's pretty cool. We will confirm this. There we go. That looks pretty nice. And then we will do a trade-in from the last mod that we had. And there we go. We shall go outside and have a look. All right. Here we are on the actual outside. So let's see. No big gaps or holes that I can see there. There was a little one under the cab, but I think that's meant to be there. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's nothing I can pick on. There is a hole. I'll have another look at that. I think that might just be a reflection, not a hole. So that's looking pretty good. See, I'm not seeing those big holes, big gaping holes anymore. You know, I used to see them a lot, and, and you guys can confirm that I used to pick on them big time. So, look at that. That's very nicely done. I really do like it. Even the, the actual grill. Can we see there in the engine? No, not really, but that's all good. Don't have to. Um, there, no, no. No, that is really good. I like that. I like that model. Very good indeed. Now, let's start her up. That's custom sounds, so that's good. I like custom sounds. Very nice. I still, I don't know, I would st <laughs> still think that sound. Some of it might be from the Coronado, but anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we'll just keep going. Um, let's jump inside. That looks, I reckon that looks really, really cool, that. Okay, let's get her into gear, and we're at a small dealership so we will head off to the actual uh, service center and take a look over there 
Okay, so here we are in the actual service center. Now let's check out to see in the up upgrade shop quickly to see if there's any extras. No, doesn't look like there is. And what's that? That's, yeah, you just get the driver's plate. Uh, that there's, yep, that's normal. Okay. Mirrors you can change from in here, the driver's plate, and that is it, right. So you can get driver and co-driver plates in there. Now let's have a look at the paint shop. Ooh, okay. So you can do a custom standard color. Pretty cool. Or the custom metallic. Now, one thing I like to check with these is does the actual metallic work well? Let's have a look. There's two. Alright, let's do let's do a blue with silver and then can we see that third one where is it is it there I can't see it I can't see the third one uh, it's if it's there it's only so slight but you really want it to stand out I cannot see it we'll change color just to make sure no, I can't see that third one. So that third one is useless. So, well, you know, that's it. What can you do? What can you do? Well, that that looks absolutely horrible. <laughs> it seriously does. Let's go to a, a darker grey. There we go. That looked terrible. I don't know why. What I was drinking or thinking at that time we'll put black there and that looks a lot better there we go and that is all of the colors so you can do custom only so far so right let's go outside and have a look at this now while I was actually driving over to this service center it uh, was actually quite good to drive I did like this so that is pretty good you know, it seemed to handle quite well, you know, steers well. No major jerkiness. In, I'm using the keyboard as well, so that's pretty interesting. So look, there we are. There's that actual truck there. I'll just push it forward a little bit in the sun. You can see the metallics. And we'll put the handbrake on. Turn that engine off. Yeah, I've heard that sound before. There we are. Look, that's it there. It's... It is quite nice, guys. I, I really do think this is a very good truck here to drive around. It's just look looks too much like the... I'm going to say it. It looks too much like the Coronado. Uh, now, that model, I really did like that one. I thought it was a very good model. Um, this is called the Century, though. It has got some details that are different on there, but I still think that this is it's originally was the Coronado All right, I'm gonna say it I said it there we go I said it it's originally looks like to me it was the Coronado and they've just gone and named it the century and added taken off a couple of things I think but you know that's it and taken out a couple of skins because that was a shame I liked all those skins if I was to choose between the two of them I would still go for the original I still think the uh, the Freightliner Coronado original is uh, a lot better than this one only because it had uh, a lot more skins and it is the original and that's what I like anyway guys that is pretty much it from me the links are down below if you want to download this truck if you like this video give us a big old thumbs up and rem and uh, keep the shiny side up and the grease side down and I'm 1010 on the side and remember game on Thanks for watching YouTubers, if you'd like to see more videos, then click on the links beside. Just over here we have where I play Euro Truck Simulator 2 and we have a look at the Scania Recovery Truck. And below that, Junior plays Beam NG Drive Part 1, just down there. And if you'd like to visit our website or you'd like to subscribe, then click on the links below. Thanks again for watching YouTubers and remember, GAME ON!